Hi, right, it's Matt in the kitchen again. I'm here with my pressure cooker and today I'm going to make a cheeseburger casserole. Why? Because kids like cheeseburgers. So, today what I did is I actually I fried up my, uh, my meat and onions in advance. So it's about a pound of ground beef and an onion. You can do this press in the pressure cooker um, or this could be uh, stored from earlier and uh, just defrosted for this meal. Just something I like to do quite a bit is freeze some of it ahead. So I've got my pound of meat, I'm going to go and I'm going to add in about half a cup of ketchup because cheeseburgers need ketchup. So I'm going to throw that in. Uh, a light tablespoon of mustard, so I, you could use Dijon mustard, I'm going to just use prepared, normal uh, yellow prepared mustard uh, today. Obviously a slightly different flavor. A little bit of pepper, just to give it a little bit more uh, taste, otherwise it's going to be a little bit on the bland side. Now I would add about half a can of diced tomatoes. Uh, today I'm just going to use some uh, diced up tomatoes, rather than canned diced tomatoes. So I've got all that there. Uh, I would add, I'd normally add uh, about half a cup of uh, cream cheese at this point have it in the recipe for the whole time. I'm going to save that right till the end because I want to make a, a small portion of this actually without cheese so it'll kind of just be a hamburger casserole. Uh, powdered noodles. I'm actually throwing them in dry. This is actually what's getting cooked in this meal. The meat has already been cooked. And two cups of water. So I've got that all in there. I'm just going to stir it around make sure everything's nice and covered. Okay, so you can see that's kind of kind of what it looks like there. Uh, that's pretty much what it's going to look like when it's done. So I am going to save my half a cup of uh, cream cheese till the end, and also I'm going to throw in some shred about a cup of shredded cheese at the very end. Well, basket popped out of the lid, and here I go. Is my seven minutes for the pasta. Be back soon. Okay, and here's the reveal. I've turned it off, depressurized it, and here we go. Look at that. You can see it's pretty much the same uh, same as you saw going in. Everything's nicely cooked. I'm going to stir it around a little bit. It looks, smells great. Doesn't have an overpower. It smells great. Let's, uh, let's see how it tastes. Really good flavor. Um, it's about where I want it. Uh, it's not overpowering. So if I add it a lot more, it could be a little bit overpowering. You've got to get the right balance for yourself. So like I said, I'm going to separate some of this. Separate some of this out to have a non-dairy version. Just stir up a bit of that. Nice non-dairy portion. Still got quite a bit left. So this is where I'm going to add in the uh, the, the cream cheese. So it's only going to be about half a cup. I'll just put that in. Move around. Let it melt. Makes it really should make it really nice and creamy. Now I would have put this in at the beginning but uh, wouldn't have been able to make a, a milk-free version. Let me just get that out. All right. Okay, it's uh, nicely mixed in there. You can see see there you can see that there's a little bit more cheese mix into it looking nice and nice and cheesy a real uh, or a cheeseburger type meal okay. Let's see how that tastes really good nice and cheesy of course you don't normally have cream cheese on your burgers so I'm going to do a little bit of shredded cheese and just sprinkle that on top and let it melt on so it actually turns into a little bit more of a fancier meal, something the kids will like. Kids will like to see the cheese. 
Well, let's get rid of that. All right, peel. And see here, there's the uh, there's the meal as it's presented. Now, my one son does like pickles. He loves them. I'm actually going to go and throw some diced pickles on top of that to give it a little bit more taste, a little bit more of that bite. But this really turns into a cheeseburger. Use macaroni pasta, something the kids tend to like. So there we go. So hopefully you liked that video, found it, found it a little bit useful, and try it yourself. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, to see what other videos I've got out there, and feel free, of course, to ask me any questions or, or send me ideas that you may have. That's all for now. Enjoy your pressure cookers.